Now this children is an oasis. Welcome guys to episode 658 of Minecraft and I'm using the Biomes O Plenty mod. Now I found this mod, uh, it was on the homepage of actual Reddit. Um, it was uh, very upvoted um, on uh, Reddit and uh, I found the mod actually on the Minecraft forums and uh, it was quite delicious, all right? Um, it includes 33 new biomes and uh, you can see that this is sort of like a meadows biome over there was sort of like a wasteland biome. I'm not quite uh, sure on all the correct terms and um, sort of names of the biomes, but uh, they look very, very pretty. All right, yes, yeah, so it's very spectacular. This one I do believe is uh, the meadows biome and uh, you can see sort of flat plain land and I, I just set up a quick uh, uh, camera uh, spline and uh, whoa. All right, that's not that's not very nice. That's not that's uh, very dangerous. But uh, one thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, this mod is very nicely spaced out in the. Oh, we might as well we might as well cancel that because it's not quite working to my desire. Or is it? Um, now we'll just fly around. So we'll go cam stop, and uh, there we go. We've stopped it. And uh, you can see this sort of a swampy sort of biome. Very scary, very scary. And uh, you can see the uh, sky actually changes color um, depending on your biome so you can see that uh, here we have some gray or like some dark green murky water and uh, I, I thought I saw a bear but I don't have mo creatures installed but this is a tree this is a sort of tree types in in the actual mod and uh, there is a lot of biomes here we have a different biome and uh, the sun will or the skies will change into a nice purple purpley uh, color and uh, over here we have a um, more over that way, more forward, um, is that uh, we'll find a normal basic uh, alpha Minecraft with the vibrant uh, greens um, that you guys normally see. And there we go. You can see the sky um, change. So this is a very normal, if you look at this, you think you're playing Minecraft alpha. Look over there. That looks like the uh, barren lands, the shadows, where Simba shouldn't go. Look at look at that. And uh, you can see the sort of discoloration of the water. That's the one thing that uh, um, you've got to take in consideration. But um, look at this. It's very nicely spaced out. You can see you can just fully pretend that you're playing um, Alpha Minecraft again. Here we, have, we just set the sun um, up. And you can just keep on going forward and explore and explore. It really creates awesome stuff. There's also um, the, the sort of standard in uh, these uh, biome packs is that there includes glaciers um, and uh, all sorts of different tree types. And this is probably one of the best biome packages out there for the Minecraft uh, mods that I have seen and installed. And uh, here we hopefully we find a nice tundra sort of biome. Is this? Nope. Yep, this is a frost biome. I do remember that. So we're going to enable the rain and uh, it just looks perfect. Perfect with the snow. Look at that. Very, very nice. Shabby. We saw a bit of rain. We must have switched. But uh, look at that. Look at that. That is that is sexy right there. All right, look at the snow falling down. So this is the frost biome. I'm over here looking like a boss. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. We'll turn off the rain because uh, that does uh, quite uh, intrude in the uh, sort of CPU range of aspects, but uh, if we continue on, you can see all sorts of different biomes, and I want to show you a sort of a stone biome called Craig. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, look at this just just tall grass and meadows, sort of hilly. You can see a few stones, but uh, one thing that you got to keep into consideration is that. Um, this mod is actually quite easy to install, but uh, that lighting bug, hopefully Dinnerbone will actually fix that in the new release of uh, the newer version of Minecraft. I really wish that was uh, fixed because that's the one major bug that's uh, been annoying absolutely everyone. Here we can see some nice pine trees. Look how tall they are. This is very, very, very awesome. It reminds me of the DayZ mod um, or sort of like um, the survival games map. Um, it's very fun just to muck around. Now, it I was expecting it to be a lot more laggy than um, than loading up a normal biome, but uh, I don't think it is uh, much lag. Yeah, if if it is, uh, just only a tiny bit. Um, you can see that my camera spot, my camera spline, um, actually stuffed up because of the actual um, not because of the mod. I think it's just because of how Minecraft renders stuff out. But this is more of a jungly type Coco Cabana sort of uh, not quite jungle, but a nice savanna, not savanna, but uh, very nice. And you can see some wild pumpkins. Maybe cows you can see also new implementations of flowers because this mod adds in a couple of new blocks I'll show you guys that um, if you go over here you can see red rock now um, I just got 
totally distracted with the red rock, but here you can see all sorts of different uh, flowers. You can see daisies, poppies, clovers, uh, green uh, flowers, and the such. But uh, one thing that I want to find is a sort of, um, I forget the um, name of the biome, but uh, it uh, has sort of a red dirt to it, and I wanted to build Uluru in it. Um, that's one of my goals in Minecraft, but uh, I never found like the correct block sort of formations. Um, but uh, this mod uh, enables you to actually create Uluru, because there is such an Uluru biome in this mod, and I will try and find that. Um, but it's, it's all about exploring with this mod. It's, uh, it's a very fun adventure, and uh, trying to find all... Uh, here we have a nice little glacier biome. Now, you can see that uh, it goes from a sort of jungle biome straight it's not a jungle it's not a typical vanilla minecraft jungle but uh it moves it's sort of like a jungle but uh not the vanilla one but uh, you can see it moves straight over to a glacier um i wish the glaciers and the sort of snow didn't mix but hey it's minecraft um you can see that it's very very nice and uh un underneath the ice you may be wondering it's just it's just going to be dirt and stone as such so you can see the stone under here um and this is pretty much the um glacier biome but the ones i want to see don't keep on they don't appear i want to find um the actual uluru sort of dirt type um i think it's called mesa um i try remembering all the actual um 33 biome names I, I played around with this mod for like 30 minutes i have a new world i'm trying to explore all this awesome stuff it's uh, absolutely spectacular now you do occasionally see these sort of standard desert biomes in minecraft this one this one doesn't seem to be a, a biome and if you press f3 f1 you can actually see uh what biome you're in um so we're in a dense forest right now and uh, that's what that's the one good tool to actually uh, see what biomes you're in hey guys liquid i found i found the biome that i desired to find and I actually it was actually quite a um, a quick journey actually to find it and uh, here it is it's a uh, very orangey very nice i like my favorite color is orange but uh, it looks very nice and pretty but uh, one thing that i have to mention the vanilla minecraft bug of the lighting severely wrecks the sort of scenery in this mod and uh, i reckon this uh, this biome and all the biomes actually included um with this would be absolutely amazing to have um, if the shaders uh, mod would be actually upgraded to uh, 1.3.2 that would be absolutely amazing doing all nice little flybys and stuff like that um, with the waving flowers that'll be awesome and uh, you can see that if I press F3 it is a uh, Mesa I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation of this but uh, here we have a river and now we're heading into the oasis look at that look at them awesome trees very very nice and uh, one thing that I want to do is check out what that is called I don't think that is the purpley stuff that I saw in the beginning of the video, but uh, yeah, I think it is actually the purpley stuff. Um, and this is an ominous woods. And uh, you can see that the color changes of the sky. And if I go into here, it's a nice orangey color. And if I go into the oasis, oasis it's a nice sky blue. Um, very nice sky sexy blue now I do believe I have shown you most of the biomes if not you can install this mod if you found it very interesting um, the mod is actually uh, quite uh, easy to install all you need to do is place it in your jar with mod loader but uh, other than that guys I rate this mod a 8 out of 10 fruit loops I actually liked on all the amazing sort of um, sort of biomes there and I like how it incorporated new blocks into Minecraft uh, a lot of biome mods don't do that they sort of stick with this sort of tendency of having different different sort of uh, formations but uh, this one included new blocks uh, which are really added to the mod and uh, you can see we're still in the oasis and uh, look at them awesome rivers trees absolutely amazing um, the one thing that I have noticed is that sort of wrecks it is the lighting bug but then again it is a uh, vanilla minecraft's issue not the actual mods so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and as always have a nice day